You know what I can't understand? Is why all of a sudden now, 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 Jerry Jones is concerned with his head coach, the Clapmaster, Jason Garrett. Like all of a sudden now, now you realize the guy stinks. Now, now you finally start to acknowledge that he and his staff can't coach their way out of a paper bag. Now, now you finally think that your coaches have got to do better. It's been nine years now. Nine years. The hell took you so long? Like, what is this fascination that Jerry Jones has had with Jason Garrett all these years? And I know I'm speaking to the choir for all types of Cowboys fans, and I've done videos like this before, talking about this. You sit there and go to these lengths to continue to prop up Jason Garrett when in the grand scheme of things, your team hasn't done a damn thing. You have wasted pretty much an entire decade with the Clapmaster. Clappy McSlap Nuts. What was it back in 2010? Wasn't it that embarrassing loss in prime time on like a Sunday night to the Packers? And then that's when Wade was fired and Jason Garrett took over. Ooh, he went five and three after that. Whoopity do! Like, like, here's my thing. You've been okay with mostly mediocre the entirety of the decade. Now all of a sudden you give a crap? Now all of a sudden this is a problem? As of Thanksgiving and that embarrassing loss you had to the Bills on Thursday when they came in there and beat your brakes off, Jason Garrett has a record of 83-65, and 65, just above mediocre. He has as many seasons with an 8-8 eight eight record, three, as he does seasons with 10 or more wins. Three. 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 Three! And the other two seasons, what was it, a 4-12 and 12 and a 9-7? and seven? He's had a winning record. And when I say winning record, I don't mean 500. I mean above 500. He's had an above 500 record. Four of his eight full seasons. And lo and behold, wouldn't you know, you're sitting there. Four games left in the 2019 season. Thank God you play in the NFC Least. That overrated dumpster fire of a division. Because you're 6-6, six and six, staring down the barrel, potentially going 8-8, eight and, eight and still being able to win the damn division, especially if you beat the Eagles in a couple of weeks. Like, what is it now all of a sudden that makes Jerry Jones think that Jason Garrett is the problem? What all of a sudden smacked him silly and brought him to his damn senses and realized that, hey, the Clapmaster actually sucks. Because I don't see what the hell Jason Garrett's doing now that is so different than anything else he's done that makes you think all of a sudden now, huh, now I get it. Now I know he sucks. All of this undying loyalty for a former third-string quarterback. What's the big fascination here? Because he came in as a third stringer, what was that, Thanksgiving 1994, and lit up the Green Bay Packers by throwing a few bombs to freaking Alvin Harper and shit? That's two and a half decades ago! I don't get it. Now you look at this Cowboys team. And sure, because it's the Cowboys. Pretty much everybody's been out of it. Cool, that's fine. You could say some of their players are perhaps overrated. Fine, whatever, but the reality is you've got Dak Prescott having a great season, statistically at least. He is leading the league in passing yards in a contract year. You've got Ezekiel Elliott, a featured freak franchise type of running back. You've got an alleged number one wide receiver in Amari Cooper. You've got the best offensive line in football. You've got star talent on all three levels of the defense. Yeah, here you sit at six and six, and your team can't beat anybody worth a crap. Hell yeah, that's on coaching. Only an idiot can't see what the problem is here. And the problem is not just Jason Garrett, it's you, Jerry Jones. You're the problem. 
You're the idiot that's kept Jason Garrett around all of these years. Need I remind you, as bad as my team has been for many, many years, in 2010, they went to an NFC Championship game where Jay got busted smoking Cutler as their starting quarterback. The Cowboys haven't even made it to an NFC Championship game this decade. The Bears went with smoking Jay sorry ass as their starting quarterback. That's how pathetic, pathetic they have been this decade under Jerry Jones' leadership, not even Jason Garrett's leadership. Jerry Jones' leadership, the trading of a first-round pick for a high-level number two wide receiver and prostituting him out there as a number one just because he gets a bunch of targets. And Amari Cooper Raiders fans know the real deal. They know what I'm talking about here. Now, you look at this situation, and you say, who's the clown that has paid money to all these guys but still hasn't paid Amari Cooper? Still hasn't paid Byron Jones. Still hasn't paid Dak Prescott. That's Jerry freaking Jones. He's the one that failed to get all these things done. Who's the one that hired Jason Garrett? It's Jerry Jones. Who's the idiot that's going out there doing press conferences and all these appearances? Why did you keep his damn mouth shut? That's Jerry Jones. This freaking egomaniac can't get out of his own damn way. This egomaniac will sit there and hang his organization of his, his vanity project, with all of his failures all of his ego shots, and expect everything to just kind of sort itself out. Like, the perfect epitomization, the way you look back at it in history, of Jerry Jones versus logical football sense, is five years ago, he wanted Johnny Manziel. His son told him, we're taking Zach Martin. Well, we know how that worked out. And some of us may have thought at the time, it would be cool to see Johnny Manziel with the Cowboys, whatever. But the bottom line is, history is the judge. And history shows you just how poor this guy's judgment is. You're the problem, Jerry. You don't let the football people that actually know football do the football things. You meddle, you stick your nose in where it doesn't belong, you show undying loyalty to the wrong people, and then you sit there and you wonder what the hell is going on here and what's so wrong. I mean, I'm a head out. Well, I'll bet some Cowboys fans are starting to wish, I wish you'd have headed out about 10 damn years ago and taken Jason Garrett the F with you. The Cowboys are overrated as bricks. They get all of this media attention because they draw ratings, because the league and the networks make sure that they do, and that is a fact. They are in no way, shape, or form the preeminent dynasty in the league anymore. That's the Patriots. They are no longer, in terms of actual production on the field, anywhere close to a marquee elite NFL franchise the only reason they continue to stay in that position is because of the audience that they had that they got from the 70s and 80s and the 90s when they were doing a bunch of winning, especially in the 70s and the 90s. You had two generations that became bandwagon fans, that became lifelong fans, in part because the Cowboys were always on TV because they were actually winning back then. Now they put this team in damn featured prime time and marquee game spots pretty much every single damn week whether they deserve it or not, just to continue to prop up this franchise. And all the while, all the while, year after year, time after time, this team disappoints. They underachieve. They underwhelm. They fail to show up at the big spots and the big moments. And that is a direct reflection of the idiocracy that is Jerry Jones running the Dallas Cowboys. So what? you got your big shrine monument stadium to your freaking ego. What the hell has your team won since you've been in it? Nothing that matters. Nothing that matters. Like, it's amazing to me. As a Bears fan, I see what incompetent ownership can do. They make the bad decisions, the wrong decisions. They spend the wrong money in the wrong ways at the wrong time. So I feel uniquely qualified from the outside looking in to be able to say, I know crappy ownership. It's the McCaskey family. And guess what, Jerry? You're just a more egomaniacal public viewing version of the freaking McCaskey family. You are Michael McCaskey. You suck. Hell yeah, Jason Garrett should be fired. He should have been fired years ago. All that loyalty to a guy giving you 8-8 eight eight football teams. Then said they're going 13-3 and three and losing at home in the division around in the playoffs because you can't defend Aaron Rodgers for one more play. This is a joke. 
Stop doing stupid press conferences and interviews, calling out your coaches. And even when you hear him talk about the buck stops with him, no, Jerry, the buck primarily, exclusively, and only stops with you. You can't get all the ego rush off of being the owner of the Blessed America's team and not take any of the heat that can mix from the freaking oven in the kitchen. You got to take the bad with the good, brother. And let me tell you, since you've really sunk in your claws into this organization, you know what you've become? An only slightly better version of the Washington Redskins. There, I said it. And when you look at the past two decades, sure, there's some difference, but how much difference is there really? Really? He's a slightly more successful over the past 20 years. Jerry Jones is a slightly more successful Daniel Snyder. And even Cowboys fans have got to admit, that might hurt, and that might sting, and it might go against everything you think about that egomaniac, but you know deep down it's true. For God's sakes, Jason Garrett is still your head coach in 2019. What the hell more proof do you need? The problem is you, Jerry Jones. And until you either A, get the hell out of the way, or B, sell the damn team, how are things going to get any better for the Dallas Cowboys? Because firing Jason Garrett ain't going to do it because you'll just hire another mediocre idiot to take his place.